For many, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is all about Cades Cove, Elkmont, and all the stunning sights along Highway 441 from Gatlinburg to Cherokee, North Carolina. But the vastness that is the Smoky Mountains goes far beyond these famous destinations within the park. There are many, many other areas of the park that most people never visit and therefore never see. Today our team aimed for one of those places, making the nearly three hour drive to Maggie Valley, North Carolina, seeking Purchase Knob, a breathtaking bald 5,000 feet atop the Smoky Mountain wilderness. What a sight to behold. Come on along. Good morning! We're in North Carolina. Yeah. And we're uh, walking to our trailhead. Because, you know, we had a park down there. <laughs> because it says you can't park up here, even though there's a road that goes up here. Authorized vehicle only. <laughs> Whatever. So, in case you're wondering, I don't know what this is called. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what the name of it is. All I know is there's a bald. And we're in North Carolina and it's cloudy. So, okay. We're in Maggie Valley. More information. <laughs> What's the trail called? The Hemp Hill Road Trail. Hemp Hill Trail Road. Road? Yeah. Road. Hemp Hill Road Trail. Yeah. All that. It's it's an easy trail because you know I'm still kind of gimped up still. And uh, look, sister came back too. She's here too, again. So, cool. My wife could have came, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not waking her up. <laughs> so, and on top of things, it's really nice out today. It's comfort. It should only be in the 70s today? Thinking 70s. And I, I love how like we're not even on the trail. <laughs> and we've been doing nothing but walking up the entire way. <laughs> that's, that's fun, yeah? Huh? Ooh, look at that. Can you guys see that? Because I'm only showing you once. <laughs> Look at this fence line though. That looks fairly new actually. Huh. So yeah, back on the trail. Well, getting to back on the trail. Actually, I think I see a sign. Oh, and we, <laughs> the, I left this part out. We might have a small percentage of rain, maybe. But it's like a very small percentage, like 60%. So that's not bad. If it's 20, we're getting back in that car and leaving. But no. Ah, I think that's the sign right there. Up, up there. Notice I said up there. 
Uh. Oh, this is the Smokies, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's part of the Smokies. Even though, like, way out of the way. But it's just part of the Smokies. According to some uh, commenters on the app thingy, they saw four bears. It'd be nice to just see one bear or something wildlifey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All these trails. What? Purchase knob. Purchase knob? So we gotta buy it? <laughs> See, look, we gotta park like right there. You know? But no. Gotta follow rules. Rules are for squares. And we're not squares, right? Right? Not squares? Don't walk away from me without talking to you! Scientific studies are conducted throughout the site hike on developed roads. So we're in the Appalachian Highlands Science Learning Center. So this is part of the Appalachians? Yeah, well, the Smokies are part of the Appalachians. <sighs> Jesus. But no white blazes, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I should get a bug in my eye. Purchase knob. I wonder if that's the name of the ball that we're going to. Really bugs me. Uh, uh. Okay, I think I can see you again. Okay, so yeah, we're there. He's there. She's over there. And I'm right here. So we're going to start hiking, I guess. It's, it's mostly a road, oh, isn't there's it? A, there's an old cabin up here. Oh, there is? Hmm. That's oh, weird how you didn't it. mention that the whole way here. Two hour drive here, right? Two and a half. Two and a half hour drive. Never mentioned any cabin. Probably closer to three cents. It was raining in, back in Tennessee when we left, and I don't like driving fast in the rain. It's kind of slow going at the beginning. Yeah, so there's that. So it might have took us a little longer than the 2.3 hours that the app said it would take us. Yeah. Well, we're feeling great today, right? I'm feeling okay. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm hopped up on energy. I had coffee. Now I'm drinking that thing. So this is a four. Jet oh, I didn't know what that was. It sounded like music. <laughs> Who's singing yeah, in the your woods? Banjo music. I'm bolting it back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, back on the trail. Woohoo! Let's get it on. We gotta go up there, right? Yeah. So huh. good. How long yeah, is this trail? Four miles. Four miles. Is that there and back? Yep. Oh, wow. That is short. Way. Sweet. That makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> it's good to be back again. But yeah. So, huh? Oh, he's still Kevin talking. The, there's a science center up here, but obviously it's closed. Is it? A cabin in the woods. I think it's a Stevenson, if I remember right. Huh. It's Long named. Ah. Never been here. Ferguson. It's the Ferguson cabin. Ferguson. Yeah. So, that might be where we're taking refuge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you know, the 60% thing I told you. Green stuff. Down there, not up here. So, all right, we're gonna keep mushing. Is that water? I hear water. I hear water. Anyways, 
we're gonna keep mushing and when we find something cool, let you guys know. Adios. We were excited. This was a far side of the Smokies and we'd never been here. We'd seen the pictures of this trail, but we were also well aware pictures don't do justice to amazing places like the bald we were making our way toward. So our excitement was an anticipation of witnessing Purchase Knob for ourselves, as well as everything else there was to see along this adventure. Not only were we eager to see everything there is to see, but we can't wait to show it all to you. Hey, so guess what? Still going up. Nothing's changed. It's still up. So. It's gotta be up. Yeah, because, you know, you gotta get to the bald. Can't drive there unless you're an authorized vehicle and have permits and all that stuff. Now, there could have been somebody on this trail that came with us that would probably gain this access, but no, she's not here today. That would be my sister. Because, you know, she's part of the wildlife group now. Yeah, but it doesn't work for the trail, though. Oh. Private. Oh. There's a difference. Well, I'm not sure what kind of pole she has with the bird server. Ah. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Well, then I can't blame her. So. Hey, I can still blame her. Oh, yeah. Can't blame somebody, right? Uh, yeah. Who else would it be? Can't blame us. <laughs> that would make us insane. <laughs> we start, you know, talking like that, you know. We're not insane, right? We're perfectly normal people. <laughs> Look, there's a road down there. Now where the heck does that go? Oh, it came from over there. Right there. I seen it. Nobody sees the things I see. I seen it. I was here. I'm pretty sure that's within the, the signs that said private property, no trespassing. I didn't see it back there. It wasn't on that road. It was on the road down over there. So. <laughs> this is actually a... A park service road. Ah. <sighs> Anybody else getting sweaty? I thought it was supposed to be nice today. High as a 70, right? 79. Seven, oh, Basically 79. 80. <clears throat> Fantastic. We are in higher evolutions. Not sure that's right. <laughs> but, yeah. See from the trees. You can tell we're uh, up there. Even the drive up here was up there. Yeah. <laughs> pretty streep. <laughs> streep. Streep. We can't talk that. today. A lot of places. <laughs> <sighs> End of transmission. So we kind of almost think we're we're here. I mean, we've gone in the woods. We're looking for the cabin in the woods, which is probably not good that it's in the woods. Hey, there's some bear <laughs> Oh, are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be a bleep right there. <laughs> so. There's the cabin, but there's this really nice house on top of the mountain here. I can't help but notice that, like he pointed out too, that we're going down and a bald is supposed to be up. So, what is going on? Wow, look at that. Looks like everywhere. Friends? Beautiful here. The butterflies everywhere. Well, there used to be. Used to be everywhere. I turn my auto. Oh, 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 and a hummingbird. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he left. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna get off here real quick and take some pictures, so I'll talk. The late summer wildflowers were in full bloom as we made our way to the Ferguson cabin, and these flowers were attracting much attention from nectar and pollen loving critters in mass. Bees, hummingbirds, as well as countless butterflies danced around the flowers, practically gorging on their tasty treats. They were so focused on their tasks, the critters didn't seem to notice or care as we snapped pick after pick. Nature is certainly a wonder to behold. We are now in the cabin, in the woods. <laughs> so you, you stay here. That's pretty cool. You got a broken window to let all the fresh air in. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, come on. That window's probably like, like really, really old. And they got a fireplace that you can't use. But it's there. Yeah, it's just here to what? This was built in 1874 by John Love Ferguson. Sucks. I bet they don't have Wi Fi. They don't even have indoor plumbing. I know. <laughs> Were you supposed to take it? <laughs> Holy crap. Hmm? Married Emma Conley in 1880, raised three children, of whom two sons lived to be 99 years old. Wow. Ferguson family lived here until they moved to Jackson County in 1902. So we're at 5,086 feet. This is the highest elevation historic cabin within the Smokies. Wow. I knew we were pretty, we were up here, but man, we're over 5,000 feet right here. <laughs> and when we get up to the ball, which is Purchase Knob is the name of the ball. It's even higher. Yeah. Up another couple hundred feet. So. Here, let me, let me just take a gander on out here. <laughs> let me get down the stairs. The stairs are still not my friends. So, you're the outside. Starting to sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Nice little cabin spot. Pretty cool. I mean, look at it. Keep it mowed and everything. Huh? So yeah, beautiful spot. All right, so we're gonna take it in, and enjoy this for a minute. So I'll talk to you guys later. Ferguson cabin was cool, tucked away high up here in the Smoky Mountain forest, as a testament to the area attracting far less attention than other areas of the park. There was little graffiti inside the cabin, even though hikers are allowed to utilize it. We were happy to see that, and happy to chill here for a snack before continuing to purchase knob. Okay, so we're in the woods. Not a road, woods. It's beautiful back here. And then we got the stream crossing. Oh. Bet you there's some salamanders under. Probably don't get the 
Oh, well, that one didn't have one. Oh! It's an egg. Yeah, there's. Look. We need to flip that back into the pot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, um. We don't want to disturb that. Huh. Another sign. Hey, look. Apparently, there's a cabin over there. What? Apparently, there's a cabin over there. Like that way, it's pointing. It's called Ferguson Cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let me get off this and we gotta go dad away to get up a dad away so we can see the bolt. So, yeah, talk to you guys later. So, we are no longer on the road, <laughs> we're on an actual trail. This is the upper loop part. Oh, check these guys out. Let me get you a picture of those, kiddo. This is a... I don't know if any of us mentioned this was a lollipop loop. <laughs> the road was pretty much the stick. And the loop is the upper, upper part of the lollipop. So it's not all road walking. Lots of rotted engine. And a lot of this rotted engine still has flowers on it. Well, we are over 5,000 feet. And we're trying to keep an eye on the weather. Because the sun keeps popping up. And it gets cloudy again, and then the wind kicks up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just keep an eye on that. I mean, if it came to it, we could take shelter in that cabin. Or for up at the bald, which are almost there. Look at this. There's a science, the uh, Park Service Science Station is up there. It's probably not open, but I'm sure we could find some kind of way to get it, keep out of the storm if it gets to that point. So we no longer have signal or anything, so I can't check my radar. But I do have a weather radio. And it seems to say that uh, as the day wears on, it's going to be partly sunny. So it's around noonish right now. So I think we're going to be all right. We shall see, though. <laughs> Let's check out that scenery. Never been to this area of the Smokies. Apparently, not a lot of other people come here either. We were the only car parked. We haven't seen another soul. We had the cabin to ourselves for the time that we hung out there. So yeah, headed that way, on our way to the bald. Be back, y'all. All right, so we're here. How amazing that is. Let me get down there eventually, but look at that. 
over here. Oh yeah, that it's not gonna rain. Of course not. <laughs> ah. There's a sign up there. I feel like balds are like breathtaking. The Shane getting her pictures. doing field research up here <laughs> would you Looks like the road comes in over there There's dad that's a research facility we're not allowed in there because you know we're not so yeah are we gonna do a little walk around get our pictures in and see what else we're gonna do. Looks like he's getting out his camera, so I guess my time's over. <laughs> so we're gonna get off of this, and I'm gonna do my picture stuff. We're gonna uh, tour around, find some cool stuff. I am talking, <laughs> so I'm gonna do a walk around, probably find some cool stuff. Let you guys in on that, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna take some time up here because like. This is amazing. So, talk to you guys in a few. So yeah, he gave his two cents. Time for me to get mine. <laughs> Words kind of escape me right now. It's kind of windy, so I'm hope you're. I hope you're. Y'all are hearing this. That view, my God. This makes that trip, the long drive to get here, this obscure part of the Smoky Mountains here in North Carolina, worth it. Look at the color. Look at all these flowers. It's just, it's amazing. I can't, you know, here, we're up here at the science station and there's people here. I'm not exactly sure what they do here, but I don't know. Maybe one of the people in there will come out and chat with us. But, wow. We're over 5,000 feet up. You know, wow. With all the negative things going on in life right now, I mean, to the point where I'm going to have to make some major decisions with my uh, job within the next week. Coming and seeing this. Makes all that kind of stuff just seem small. This clears my head. This right here is... Nature's grand show here in the eastern United States. these Appalachians. The oldest mountain range on the planet. You just 
can't get any better than this. Yeah, there's a Yosemite and Glacier, and those places do look amazing. I've never been to them, it's, you know, pictures. But right here, <laughs> this is where, I mean, I'll go visit those places someday, but this is where my heart will be. In these mountains right here. If I ever leave Tennessee, I won't leave these mountains. It'll have to be somewhere near the Appalachians. And I'm just gonna soak all this in for a little while. And be back, y'all. Exhibit A for why we hike. We can't get enough of the feeling of standing atop the world gazing out into forever in a near 360 degree direction. Aside from the science station, the only hints of civilization is a small village down in the valley and a couple homes dotting nearby hillsides. This is the type of scene I find hard to tear away from. I could literally stay all day gazing into the horizon. The feeling I get atop a mountain like this is indescribable. My spirit is soaring. Yeah, so this is the Appalachian Highlands Science Learning Center at Purchase Knob. This facility provides housing for visiting scientists and opportunities for formal education groups to work with scientists or on research projects established by scientists. Visitors are welcome to enjoy the views from the deck. So we're allowed to be on the deck. <laughs> we were worried because <laughs> looks like they do all kinds of bird studies and butterflies. Hopefully they're doing stuff with the monarch since that one the numbers of the monarch have plummeted so much. Thanks to people. This is pretty cool. So we're allowed <laughs> to go sit on that deck. And I'm gonna go take advantage of that. Anyways, I mean, this is a pretty cool place. And there's one per there was two, I guess one's one per but I didn't hear I didn't hear any car driving away. There's a van in that thing. There's two guys here, so and there's a weather, little weather thingy over there. It started to rain for a little bit, so we just kind of chilled under the deck for a moment. So, anyways, so that's where we're at on top of Purchase Knob. <laughs> Be back, y'all. Still up here at the set science station, and we have signal up here, and it's showing a. a not a very, you know, heavy line of rain, but there's a line of rain coming, and you can definitely see it raining over there. But the rain is coming this way, and you can see it just coming over, and it's starting to drizzle. So we're we're gonna wait out because there's benches to sit on on this, on this deck, overlooking all this gorgeousness. It's starting to rain, so. We're going to hang out under cover of this porch since the sign says we are allowed to chill out here. On the porch. Yeah, on the porch, on the deck. But man, look at that. That's just breathtaking over there. That is amazing. Nature's putting on a show today. Look at that. That over there. Shouldn't be. But yeah, that's the way we gotta go back to the car. 
and it does show a, a, a line coming this way so we're gonna wait that out before we start heading back down Good thing we're not having to go that way, but man, look at that. You didn't get the shot from right here, man. If you just do it quickly, it's not gonna hurt it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, be back. There is one thing that makes this moment better, and that is sharing the moment with two of my kids. Sure, enjoying an experience like this solo is okay, but how much more satisfying is it to share the moment with those who mean the most to me? Seeing the wonder in their eyes, the same wonder as in my own, is more than heartwarming. Why well, keep that feeling to oneself? My children are my whole life. How grateful I am to have them in it and to share this with them. Just look at that. <clears throat> Just look how those views are changing. Just in the sh short time that we're sitting here. Look at that. Yes, it's raining, but... Cover and yes, other hikers have arrived up at the sign station. Okay, uh, it's starting to rain a little harder. Amazing. Okay, I'll be back, y'all. Okay, so now. Uh, it is really raining now, but man, look how the skyline has changed. Can't see nothing. <laughs> We're still taking refuge here at the science uh, station. According to the radar, they should be passing over us like any minute. And the temperature sure has dropped. Look, you can already see how those mountains right there are emerging from under the rain and cloud cover. And we'll need to get back on the trail. Look, you can already see the sky clearing up right there. So, this will be passing over us soon. And then we can finally get back on the trail. Not that I'm in any, any kind of hurry or anything, but it's just amazing how much the skyline has changed in the hour that we've been here. And now it's changing again. <laughs> Look how fast those clouds are moving. Okay, trail update, later. You could take a picture of the skyline, wait a moment, then take another of the same spot and it will look completely different. That was the magic of Purchase Knob this afternoon in the Smoky Mountains. The fast moving clouds and rain made for a show that could rival Broadway. We were completely taken and were bummed at the thought of returning to the trailhead. However, we'd already decided one day we would return. It's only been 10 minutes. Blue sky. Look at the, look at the whiffs of whatever you want to call it. Condensation over those mountains there. Man, amazing. And now look at it over there. And none of those clouds came over here. I know. What is the deal? I mean, the clouds came and covered the tops of the mountains all around us, but they didn't come to this mountain. 
Uh, look at that. That's just. Oh my gosh. Man, alive. I want to leave. Do you think they'd just let us live here? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll for a job here. I have a science degree. I could, I could, I could be here. Oh wow! Look at that. <laughs> God, I wish he sings how to zoom. Look, at, look at that right there. It looks like a marshmallow is just oh, right there. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a river or like a little lake or something right there that that's rising up from. And you got that over there. Okay, I think it's clear enough for us to start heading down. Be back, y'all. Yeah, it was time to head back. Nothing can last forever, no matter how perfect that moment may be. However, the natural high all of us experienced here, 5,000 feet into the Appalachian Mountains, would certainly carry us through the week and hopefully into our next adventure. Yes, this is our summer in the Smokies, and we wouldn't have it any other way. So we're on the trail, and uh, I just can't get enough of that view, man. Unfortunately, or I don't know how fortunate, however you want to look at it, the trail the rest of the way follows this. It does? <laughs> But since somebody's still, you know, recovering, so he's a lot better now. Yes. Another reason why I picked this trail. A lot better. I'm as strong as an ox. He got better. <laughs> but even still, even, but golly. That view and all, and it, it, there, we're surrounded by all kinds of wildflowers in these fields right here. So yeah, this might be an easy trail and stuff like that, but sometimes the easy trails are bloody amazing. Oh yeah, on our way back down. There's the science station. There's the mountains over there. We'll be back. <laughs> What's up? So, sun's out. Blue skies. Yeah, it's like it didn't rain at all. Huh. We're back to the stick. We got a stick? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. 
That's all we can sing, cause you know, laws and stuff. Copyright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a short trail, but considering how far we drove to this trail, it was really, really cool to be on this trail. And I bet you that spot that I was walking along the field. In between the grass, I bet that's what that is. <laughs> yep. So we could have went through there, but we didn't. We stayed in the road. It's cool. Yeah. Now the butterflies. Yeah, there's butterflies everywhere. place. I wonder what it's like when the place is open. Like the kind of info you can get inside. Research for Well aside from the butterfly and the bird research, they have that science said that they were doing. Yeah. I don't get a job. But... Yeah there you go. <laughs> so yeah still a fun hike. So, yeah, we're just gonna keep moseying on this road here. And uh, back to the car that's on the same road. <laughs> so, hope you guys liked this video at least. You know, you guys enjoying yourself, watching us. And the rain that came out of nowhere. I mean, we knew it was gonna rain today. We just, yeah. You know, we didn't know when exactly, because it was like here but, and there. I mean, it worked out because we knew that we could either take shelter in the cabin mm -hmm. or at the science station. Yep. We ended up taking shelter at the science station. So, and we knew. I mean, we saw the rain coming. Because once we got to the science station, we got signal again. So there was only a brief time that we were on the clear without the radar. But it was just a line that was coming. And the heavy stuff stayed to the south. And then all we got was just some rain. Yep. But we didn't know what was gonna happen because parts of it kept breaking up. And then, you know, other stuff kept coming. So we didn't know. You never know. So But we just hung out there, waited until it went over us and then here we are, we're going back. Yep. So, it was fun. Lots of fun. And the, you know, the yeah. view up there. Well, you yeah. you seen, you were yeah. watching the video. <laughs> so you know what I'm, we're talking about. That view is, whew. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> so, but know. one thing's for sure, you'll never know for yourself unless you come up here and check it out for yourself. It's awesome on video, but you gotta get up here yourself and experience it. Yeah. Yeah, with that, that in mind, uh, I'm going to keep doing our thing here and walking. So, talk to you guys later. <laughs> Though perhaps 75% of the trail is a road walk, that road is bordered by the amazing green of the Smoky Mountain foliage. In actuality, because this is a road walk, we likely would never have chosen this adventure if my son wasn't still recovering from his injury. How unfortunate that would have been. We would have missed an absolutely stunning place. The lesson? Don't pass up a trail just because you don't think it'll be exciting enough. You never know what you might miss. Hi! So, there's the gate. We passed it, we're done, but yet we still have to keep walking. Because, you know, you can't park anywhere up here at all private property and you got to be one of those science people guys so yeah so that was a fun little hike like had a 
I, I know it's short and it was like you know easy but you gotta give me a break here kind of hurt so yeah <laughs> doing what we can but deal healing but everything we saw it was worth it yeah it was worth the two and a half hour drive well two and four almost three hours if you really think about it yeah but that was because <laughs> of the rain and all that stuff so yeah had a lot of fun so it's a really beautiful scenery. Like yeah. Yeah, we I'll, stay there forever. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be in my mind for forever. Yeah. So I would definitely check this out. Yeah. Because you know. And aside from the elevation, it's an easy trail. Yeah. You know, it's pretty. I mean, you don't even have to cut off and go toward the cabin like we did. That's an actual hiking trail. You could stay on the road the whole way. Yep. And it'll take you up to the uh, Science Center and then you can see all those views. Yeah. So, super easy, kid friendly. Yep. Definitely. Family friendly. Definitely bring your family up here and check fact, it out. While we were there, an entire family came through there with their teenagers and one of them was even carrying a little baby. Yep. So. so. <laughs> Shows you, you can even do a simple hike like that. Injured or no injured, yeah. you can still do it. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed that, because uh, we sure did. Yeah, I enjoyed. I, I don't even care that it was a, a simple. I enjoyed every moment of this hike. So, hopefully, we have plenty more coming on. So, in the future. As long as none of us you know hurt each other again yeah so it's gonna gradually get yeah the trail's gonna increase and get longer and the more i stay off this stupid thing not hurt myself and you hurt yourself so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that that was whatever this trail thing is called it's in the thing yeah okay. the title and uh, stuff because i don't know what it's called it's purchase knob where the bulb was yeah that's, That's what, that what it was. Called. So, yeah. Until next time, I guess uh, we'll see you guys later. Yeah. I guess. Stick on the ice. Yeah. Huh? Audio, stay safe. And, oh, so subscribe, like, and yeah, yeah, yeah. share, all and all that stuff. And we're trying to figure out the shorts thing, if you notice. <laughs> so, just, we're trying to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, we didn't know that you could change the time to 60 seconds instead of 15 we didn't know that until after we started playing with it some more and after we already uploaded those other two they're like oh wow you know we can make these 60 seconds <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so, yeah that's his bad so <laughs> well, <laughs> we're learning things yeah learning <laughs> so until next time we'll see you guys you know on the next trail so yeah. stay hiking stay safe in the stick ice thing you know yep. <laughs> Adios. Well, comes a car. This was another of those hiking adventures that will never be forgotten. Yeah, it was a rather short trail, but there was so much packed into it, we can't recommend it enough. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park delivered another lifelong memory. This place never lets us down. So from our family to yours, we wish you health and happiness, and we'll see you all out on the trail.